Hey guys, today we'll be making an adorable fall ribbon poofy deco mesh pumpkin wreath. What you will need, I have this adorable sign that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. I have a wreath form that already has the Chanel stems attached. I have 21 inch long deco mesh. Then I have white, silver, and orange deco mesh, 6 inches in length. Orange and white burlap ribbon. Also, scissors, Chanel stems, and a hot glue gun. All right, let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is lift all of my Chanel stems, take my mesh, roll it to a nice point, pick a Chanel stem on the outer ring, place it, and twist it a couple of times, just like that. Pull my mesh to make a nice poof, place it in the next Chanel stem, and twist it a few times. Now you can measure the size of your poofs if you choose to do so. I just estimate the size of the poof is completely up to you. You can make it larger, smaller, whatever you'd like. And then once you have it in place, you're going to pull the mesh to make another poof. And I try to keep the poofs as uniform as possible, but they don't have to be perfect. And place it in the next Chanel stem. And I'm just going to complete this process all the way around the outer ring. Alright, so I have made it back to my starting point. I'm going to pull my mesh, make a poof, untwist the Chanel stem, place my mesh, and twist it back. And after I do this, I usually cut off the deco mesh and start over on the center ring. But I'm almost at the end of my mesh, so I'm just going to continue on. Alright, so once I have that in place, I'm just pulling out my poofs to make sure they're nice and poofy. And I'm almost out of mesh. I have enough to make about one more poof. So I'm going to take my mesh and go to the next Chanel stem, but I don't want to go to the Chanel stem that's too close because that'll make my poof too small. So I'm going to go to the next Chanel stem. So pull, make a poof, and come to the next Chanel stem and twist it in place. And then I'm just going to cut away the excess mesh because I don't have enough to make another poof. Alright, and then I'm going to take more mesh and start where I left off, untwist, place my mesh where I last twisted the previous mesh, and twist it in place. And you're not going to be able to see where the mesh starts and stops once you have everything in place. And then continue on, make a poof, place your mesh, twist it a couple of times, and continue on the inner ring just like we did on the outer ring. And once you're all done, just cut away the excess mesh and then tuck away the end. And then I'm just fluffing up all of my poofs. And then I'm going to take 8 inch long pieces of deco mesh and roll them at a curl, just like that. And I'm going to crisscross each piece of mesh. And then I'm going to take about an 11 inch long piece of my orange and white ribbon and then scrunch it all together in the center. Pick a Chanel stem, untwist, place my bundle, and twist it in place. And as you can see, I have ribbon cut the ends of my orange and white ribbon. So then I'm just fluffing out my bundle, making sure all pieces are visible. And it looks so cute and precious. And then I'm going to tuck away the Chanel stems. Alright, so again I'm going to take my orange, silver, and white deco mesh, roll them at a nice diagonal, crisscross them. And I'm going to go with one piece of orange ribbon and two pieces of white ribbon. Again, crisscrossing all of them so that everything is visible. The ribbon pieces are 11 inches in length. And then scrunch it all together in the center. Untwist, place my bundle, and twist it back in place. And then tuck away the Chanel stems because I don't think I'm going to add anything else to my bundles. Then adjust my bundle, make sure all of the mesh and all the ribbon is visible. And then I'm just going to repeat this all the way around the inner ring. 
All right, so I have placed my bundles on each of the seven inner Chanel stems. I'm going to add a sign to my center. So for my sign, I'm just going to cut off the top hanger, flip my sign over, and I have four Chanel stems. I'm going to twist two of them together to form one long Chanel stem for the top and do the same thing for the bottom. Then I'm going to use my hot glue gun to glue it in place. Making sure I have a decent amount of Chanel stem hanging off the side of my sign so that I can easily attach it to my wreath. Again, this wreath does look cute and precious by itself. If you want to just finish it off here, you can definitely do so. But what I'm going to do is kind of kind of push all of the wreath towards the outer stem so that I can make room for the sign in the center without covering too much of my wreath. And then I'm going to take the Chanel stem and twist it to the actual wreath form. All four of my Chanel stems. Twist it in place to make sure it's nice and secure. Alright, so once I have my sign in place, I'm just adjusting the mesh and the ribbon to make sure it looks so cute and precious. And for the outer stem, I'm just going to add one piece of my white ribbon, place it on the outer Chanel stem, twist it a couple of times, and tuck it away. Just a simple piece of ribbon, just like that. Again, if you want to put the entire bundles on the inner and outer stems, you can definitely do so. But I like to put more on the inner stem, and that way put a little less on the outer stem. And I'm just going to add that one piece of ribbon to each outer stem. And I want to show you how I'm ribbon cutting. I want to fold the ribbon in half, open ends at the bottom, fold it at the top, and cut it at a diagonal, just like that. So fold in half, open ends at the bottom, fold at the top, and cut at a diagonal. But if you want to keep the end squared off, you can definitely do so, or you can just cut it at a diagonal. It's completely up to you. And I decided to add one more piece of the 8 inch silver deco mesh. I'm just going to roll it at a diagonal, untwist my Chanel stem, place my mesh, and twist it back. And then tuck away the Chanel stems. So I'm going to add this extra piece of mesh on each of my inner stems. And I thought it'd be just a nice final touch to bring out the color of the sign in the center. But again, it's completely up to you. And you are all done. So cute, simple, and easy to do. You can add as much ribbon and deco mesh as you choose, whatever colors or styles you prefer. Just have fun with it and make it your own.